and we gather here today in the village of all we there you to put to rest 13 of our pips who have died of consumption because apparently to cure consumption you need a doctor and not only do you need a doctor the doctor needs to have bandages and not only does the doctor need to have bandages you can only cure two pips a day with said bandages and one doctor and so Although their deaths weigh on us heavily, I am so grateful to Puma, who was just like a random person, not one of our patrons, <clears throat> and Aslan Rules, and Shell Bell, and many of the other pips who have a salty sweet Ren. Renee, I think Ziva's around here somewhere too. Oh my gosh, there's Megan. <laughs> I, am, I, I remain grateful to their sacrifice, for they have taught us we are not prepared for the apocalypse, or at least not as prepared, or pip paired, I should say, as I thought we were. So, well, we're training up a new doctor, and we're going to have another doc house made. And in fact, I think I can just go ahead and start training another doctor now. Tasting the rain. Welcome, welcome. You are indeed supposed to say tasting the rainbow, but... I, I I suppose we don't exactly have a rainbow situation going on right now in our little pip society. So, welcome back, everyone. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah. Gonna have to figure out which of our specialists we actually lost and how we are gonna carry on from here. Uh, but for now, we are indeed going to go ahead and we are going to build a few graveyards at the edge of our pip lands where we happen to have the forest temple because it seemed rather fitting we are going to need at least four graveyards to bury all of our dead and bury them oh do we ever need to do because 13 fear a day and 13 sickness a day will be arriving as long as we have the dead piplings here so yeah it's going to take a couple days to build those graves. Um, I wonder if I can build another one. <laughs> Just like, okay, one day to build a normal grave. We're going to build one normal grave. Uh, the reason being, if we can get one normal grave going, then we'll be able to go ahead and start training another grave tender. Because <laughs> we only have backlog at the moment. Backlog, you have a bit of a backlog now of bodies. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> that's horrible. <laughs> Oh dear, all right. Um, meanwhile, for our resources, how are things going there? Well, we have enough glop at the moment. There's that. Um, we have enough hard bread. We're, um, we got enough soft bread. So, you know, the, the, the buy your cheese class can get what they need. Uh, yeah, okay. We have, we have resources. We just also have tragedy. And poor Tara. I feel like Tara just, like, she's carrying some juice even. <laughs> I feel like she just didn't even get a chance to, like, cure anyone and they just immediately died. And so we're going to stockpile the bandages, which means we are going to keep our paper workers quite busy for a while. So we'll work on that. Um... Wow, and then I, I, I think we shall simply try to bury our pips and make it through winter and the final of the apocalyptic dooms that are upon us. For then maybe as, you know, the year turns into a new year, we'll be able to celebrate the apocalypse arriving. That starts things off on an exciting, like, note, doesn't it? it maybe it's good to go ahead and just live a very exciting life of apocalyptic expectations. I mean, you know, gonna keep us busy. Whoa. All right. Also, keeping an eye on our wild boar populations, I might need to go ahead and have everybody back off of the poor boars for a minute. Uh, and we have researched for absolutely no reason whatsoever the butcher's table. Uh, I think because I'm trying just to like, ooh, just in case built a burial, knowledgeable, complete a knowledge tree in a single village. So I guess that means that our knowledge workers can no longer, like, get any knowledge that goes anywhere for any reason. Um, so I guess <laughs> we don't need the scribble scriptoriums, huh? We'll just have to say that, like, I mean, 
we'll just have to say that maybe the school is just doing that good a job and that you will leave your tree and the fertile ground around it at the very least and this was your first tree with orbiting you guys could go ahead and like make a little bit of um extra research i guess but at the same time no healer available do i have any piplings available to come and learn how to be healers I don't think I do. <laughs> and I do need to have some piplings available to maybe be healers, make me some more uh, of the bandages. Where are my healers? Crystal's down here. And then we also have uh, Gwenavi Elf over here. Huh. Yeah, everyone's kind of busy. And I also need a pipling to maybe come over and like learn how to bury people. Wait, do they not learn burial? Just handyman can go ahead and do burial, but if we're going to have like a graveyard, then I think I might need to have the professional, yeah, the burial site. Yeah, grave digger for burial site. Huh. Okay, well that didn't help as much as I thought it would. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and dismantle that. Um, and I mean, I suppose we are simply here. We are carrying on with not having as many pips as we used to maybe we should welcome in some new pip babies we've got some empty houses to fill maybe we'll do that for a minute we'll we'll go ahead and like you know we'll let the the scriptorium people welcome in some new children like we'll let some people just take a break maybe everybody oops okay the artisan milk peep and the uh, pip and the um buy your cheese pip will not have babies together Oh, class differences, how rude. Um, then we'll have these pips maybe take a bit of a break. And add to this house is totally empty now, oh my gosh. And we shall simply have to get back up on our feet, except for those of us who are dead. They could very hopefully stay not on their feet again, because I'm not sure if I could handle the fear points if we suddenly have zombies. That, that would be a little bit of a problem for me. I'm not much of a zombie fan. Fly forth, fly forth, my hard bread, my eggs. And we've got some babies I'm gonna need to name <laughs> in order to have the lucky Patreon names and not bring more bad luck upon our village. Oof. Ugh, we're gonna really have to fight off the sickness and fear, but I am confident that we'll be able to keep it up. Uh-oh, what's going on now? What's happening? Are you guys talking about getting sick? No, maybe? Is it a good minor event? <gasps> it's a good minor event! Agent Annie, Nether Hearts, and somebody else. I can't see. Aw, good wishes. They wished each other good health. Fox Fangs, too. They wished each other good health so that, you know, over their <laughs> first dead bodies. <laughs> I mean, that's a good thing. Um, you know, wishing wishing for the, the good health of the villagers around you. Oh, here we go. The apocalypse is coming. You'd better be ready for this. Stop this nonsense. I know your plans. Ah, we've got a smart elder here, huh? I won't let you destroy this village, even though they did just take a good bite out of it. There's not much you can do now. It's all right, elder. They don't suspect a thing. Okay, the other domains don't suspect a thing? Because we're going to have to talk. Like, uh, fear domain, if I have now given you, like, my, my, like, pact, because I signed our souls up for, like, you, then do, do, do your job, please. Because <laughs> we definitely need a little bit of help burying these pips and maybe not being terrified of everything under the sun for a second. Um, let's go ahead and get more. Well, we need one more burial site to cover everybody. And I think I'm going to need to train another handyman. There's nobody available. <laughs> There's nobody available to be able to even train. No healers available either. Oh my gosh. Yeah, like, okay. I need more Pip Babies again, don't I? Well, you know, in the face of tragedy, perhaps, perhaps we just need to have many, many, many Pips <laughs> ready to go ahead and join us um, in our little village. Oh my gosh. So there's already babies in some of them. Okay, so we might have to have a baby boom and then we'll circle back around the whole like making sure that 
they all have lucky names. Because right now, there's a lot of them. Let's see. This one's full. That one is about to be occupied. Okay, I guess it's this one. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so... Oh, not enough free pips. Okay. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Zero gravity. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, I hope that's going to work out okay. Let me make sure nothing critical is going down too fast. Um, I do think we need to like back off of the big game hunting, or excuse me, <clears throat> of collecting the various um, pig fruit that happens to be in the forest, because uh, I think the numbers are going to collapse otherwise. All right. And then we have a bunch of fancy pips who happen to be just spending their days not doing anything. Let's see, those are our bath tenders. Aha! Uh -huh. And you don't even have a lucky, like, Patreon name yet, you, right there. Kova, you think your name is? I think not. I think you might end up becoming another one of the doctors, maybe? <laughs> I, I, I'm not sure, like, what I should train them as yet. So we'll just kind of leave that be. I guess we don't need to use up the paper. We can focus on, I mean, we could focus on trying to teach people to make more bandages if I had more doctors available, but I don't. Um, let's see. And I have Lumberjack. Do I want to remove any of the woods anywhere? I could build that. Oh, do I not have people building? I have people building this. Okay, well, let's bury our first pip and begin to figure out the first of our funeral rites, shall we? Rest in piplings, little ones. Do we have one of the bodies over here? Like, is... Is Backlog gonna go get it, or do we just, like, have it show up here? I have many questions. Hopefully we will be able to provide some answers. And perhaps I will even be able to, like, put down cobblestone so we can truly show that we cared. Oh, and yes, it's time for- oh my gosh. Oh, that's a lot of fear. That's a lot. I'm glad we are clearly far, far, far ahead of it, but still. Ah, oh, more memory beans. Yes, take that. Stranger. Uh-oh. I don't know about this. There's a stranger who literally just showed up out of the forest to, like, kind of eye up my graveyard. I don't know about trusting strangers. Maybe we need to whack him with our little bathing stick. A pip named Feppa has reached us from afar. They look suspicious. Shall we welcome them? Oh, man. So, stranger in the village gains fear if we have a stranger. And we're not supposed to trust them. But perhaps that's just the hope and fear domain whispering in my ear. I think I don't have any way to put a stranger in jail, though, or like attack them or anything. Um, it will make the pips nervous, but I think it may be worth it to see what happens with this, oh, geez, with this stranger in our midst. So every day they're going to add two new spookies, but I can't help but feel like maybe, maybe we might learn something from the stranger. Maybe? Appearance only if a stranger. Yes, but I see that that's the first vi like very important pip we've had. Their face, hidden under that big hat, was stern and unfriendly. I always wondered what their intentions were. So we have a lot of hope generation we can do in the village, which is why I'm okay with inviting them in because I'm curious what that might lead to as time goes on. Also, I think the bodies are decomposing. Ah. And I wonder if a, a very important pip... Ah! The Elder had a vision of fear. Re what? Oh boy. Reckoning events. Most events come from the prophecy and are written in your destiny. Others, however, stem from your inability to care for the villagers. If you let power grow too much without prophecies, or as a result of some bad events, reckoning events may appear. You can still influence them. What? What do you mean power grow without prophecies? Ah! Okay. 
<laughs> so we have a, a VIP who has joined us, and perhaps I should be a little bit concerned about them. But we will counter the stories of being fearful with the um, ability to go ahead and tell stories of hope, thanks to Hannah, who's still alive, thankfully. Um, okay. And we have many, many children now born in the village. That's hopeful, isn't it? And here we have Backlog diligently working on burying pips. <laughs> Backlog, you are working on burying them, right? Like, that's something you're doing, right? Maybe? I hope? Were you maybe not working on that? Were you just kind of like standing there? Oh dear. And we still don't have any handy pips available? Oh no. Okay, whoa, we have- oh, that's kind of sad. We have enough glop and hard bread that we actually- we actually would be over the limit. Okay, well, we'll make some soft bread and take somebody off glop duty then. Um, also, I wonder where the stranger is and like what they'll be doing. And we have a reckoning event here. Event label depends on the accumulated fear. Okay, so... I'm gonna fight back that fear. I'm also going to train another new doctor who unfortunately, I have a lot of unlucky names going around right now. I, I do think I need to go ahead and make sure that I name our little our little itty bitties um, so that they have lucky names. Whew, huh. Well, that's a thinker. What can we do? Cause we, we have to wait until we can like train more grave Keepers? Yeah, we literally are grave diggers. Were you literally not burying anybody over here, Backlog? You were just kind of like... You were just chilling! Oh my gosh, no wonder we still have that many dead pips sprinkled about. I need to learn how to appropriately bury my pips. <laughs> and other statements. You never really thought you were going to make, and yet here we are. Um, also, I guess I could have somebody put down like some stone paving and stuff over here to try to make it look a little nicer, since this is indeed now one of our burial zones. And we'll fill it in just a little bit uh, and then send more pips over to go ahead and try to collect resources we need. We need some hemp and I have plenty of pips available. Some berries. I need to bury some of these poor pips. Um, oh my word. Yeah, like we've got a bazillion and a half pips available for those kinds of jobs. Wow. Well. Well. Uh. Well, you know, <laughs> let's try to find even more ways to be a bit hopeful, shall we? Uh, also, there we go. Thank goodness. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we could do... Oh, hey, there's a use for all that juice that we've been pulling up. Excellent. That'll actually produce plus four, so 20 hope. See, we're gonna prove that we're an extremely hopeful village. So you know what? I am gonna let a bunch of our villagers go ahead and have like some nice tables to go sit at. And I don't have a knife master available. Did they all die? Amy Wolfsong, Jean Colwalt. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and have a knife master come over and work here at the this little theater. And they too can use some juice just to get some extra boost. There we go. <laughs> Uh, okay, so hopefully that'll all work out and we'll even have somebody come and enjoy the sharing table together. Plenty of hope. 100 hope. Come on. We're going to be able to deal with that reckoning event. No problem. Uh, dealing with the sickness event though? Okay, I almost want to put my head in my hands right now because I don't know how this one's going to turn out. Ugh. So many pips growing up! I will name them all uh, overnight, whilst all of you rest, and then tell you who they are when we when we uh, come back. But let's see what kind of sickness of it we're going to have, because I'm getting sort of nervous. Backlog and Renee were buried. Rest in, in pipness. That's a lot of fear. Oh boy, and here's, okay, okay, okay. What's going down here? We just barely had more. I was actually not paying enough attention to that and we almost, almost didn't have double the amount of sickness because of all the bodies. All right, there I am, I'm old. Yes, vision of sickness. 
10% daily chance of pips becoming happy for five days. And it is a wind event and we have a consequence of happiness, of the air of happiness, uh, later. I'm glad we have the air of happiness considering we still have a bunch of bodies on the ground that might actually turn into skeletons and hopefully not zombies at least soon. <laughs> Everything is awesome. Produce 100 serenity resistance in a day. Well, at least our pips happen to be extremely optimistic and I love that about them. But all right, guys, I'm going to name our many, many, many new Pipling babies and get them uh, jobs here, get them jobs there. Jobs, jobs, jobs everywhere, because um, we definitely need some help with the digging of graves. Backlog, you could put the juice down and, and continue to please work on that. Oh my gosh. And we shall see how the village thrives or not next time. So I'll see you guys then. Bye bye Wow. There's a lot of bodies around here, aren't there? Huh.